Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the AXA Campus Tour, where every week we take you to another part of the state and talk with a school leader about the successes and challenges they are experiencing as they work to safely reopen schools for the fall. Joining us today, the superintendent from the San Benito High School District is Sean Tenenbaum. Sean, thanks so much for being with us today. Always appreciative, Naj. It's great to support you and AXA and look forward to uh, many more years to come. And let me ask you, this spring, when we talked about the, the shift in how education was going, and you said one goal that you had was to shift the paradigm and pivot and do things differently when it came to educating students. You've done that in the spring and now the summer. Tell us a little bit about the impetus for that and what you've been able to do. Uh, thank you, Naj. Excellent question. And I, I think we really looked at you know, the pandemic from uh, two different um, angles, if you will. One was to make sure that, you know, we provided our students, families, and our staff members with a safe environment. Uh, we responded to their needs. Uh, we were excellent listeners. And, uh, you know, we responded uh, in kind with our actions. But the second was opportunity, and an opportunity to really look at how we delivered education in the classroom and outside the classroom, uh, and providing new, different, and exciting tools for both our educators uh, and our students. Uh, and what we found through this opportunity is, is everybody is a learner. And everybody from our students, to our educators, to our administrators, our parents, uh, and our entire school community, we're learning together. And that is exciting. You are coming back in six weeks. The students come back in six weeks. Tell me where you guys are right now as far as safely reopening schools. Yeah, thank you, Naj. Uh, we've had quite a long journey of gathering input, uh, reflecting on our emergency remote learning from the spring, uh, reflecting on our summer program right now, both our day and night program, which are 100% virtual. Uh, we've engaged both our certificated, our classified staff. We have thousands of surveys from our parents and our students. Our entire school community has really embraced this process. Uh, tomorrow evening, uh, we'll be sharing with our Board of Trustees our three different instructional models that we will be uh, launching in August. Uh, one is a hybrid cohorting model. Uh, the other is our least restrictive, uh, which would be our full in-person. And then our most restrictive, which would be continuing with distance learning 100% uh, virtually. Uh, and then in mid-July, we'll be uh, sharing all of our information regarding our safety and support protocols. Uh, and then sharing them again at the end of July with our school community. Uh, I couldn't be more proud, Naj, of how everybody has responded during these times. Uh, you know, it's a great day to be a Baylor, and it's a great day to be a Baylor because everybody is pulling in the same direction and uh, always appreciative. I've spoken with a number of superintendents who have talked about the expectations now for school leaders for public education coming into the fall semester because you had to make changes on a dime in March. Now you've had time to prepare. How do you manage those expectations as a school leader? Uh, so I think one day at a time. And really it's gathering the information. Uh, it's uh, analyzing the information. It's uh, getting a lot of uh, our folks in the room, uh, a lot of smart individuals, a lot of administrators, our division chairs, our educators who have been with us uh, and asking good questions. Uh, one of the things that we have become better at is listening and listening to both our educators uh, and our students uh, in terms of their needs. Uh, and I think managing those expectations is being real upfront uh, with our process that we're not gonna be perfect in everything we do, but we're gonna deliver the best quality education we can each and every day. Uh, and we're going to adapt, we're gonna be uh, responsive and we're gonna be very fluid in our process. Uh, and I think that's one of the things that we've really prided ourselves on. Sean Tenenbaum is the uh, superintendent from the San Benito High School District in Hollister. Sean, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Naj. Always appreciative. And thank you folks for being with us today here on the After Campus Tour. Remember, every Tuesday we take you to another part of the state and talk with a school leader that comes your way every week here on the AXA Campus Tour.